Hello uh, friends, today we'll see how to solve a differential equation by using Chebyshev differentiation matrix. But first of all, I'll explain this function, which is an interpolating function using Chebyshev. Cheb and and uh, uh, we use it frequently. So I will explain it. Uh, here and uh, we'll see an example uh, here are the inputs fk were uh, calculated on the nodes of Chebyshev and the query points are x and we calculate the interpolating uh, function p we'll see an example We'll take the number of nodes, n equal 25, and this is an example function. Uh, x here uh, are the nodes of Chebyshev, and f calculated on these nodes. And we the query points x x equal lean space from minus one to one, 100 points. And we use this function chip and we uh, as input we use as input f which calculated on these nodes and the query points which give us y the interpolation points we plot the chip chip nodes which represents here in the figure by uh, red circles and the interpolation line which represents here by blue line in the previous videos we see how to uh, uh, <coughs> we uh, calculate the chip chip differentiation matrix we use uh, the function chip n only we put the number of points n which give us x which represents the chip shift nodes and d the differentiation matrix the most important thing in solving differential equation is uh, the boundary conditions we'll take an example uh, inhomogeneous Helmholtz equation which represents in this form the second derivative of p plus uh, k square p equal to f this is second order differential equation and we will study it on the domain of v from minus 1 to 1 we consider uh, homogeneous Robin boundary condition which is a combination of a well-known Dirichlet and the Newman boundary condition we apply this condition on the right of the reference domain and the left on the right and the left now to represent the differential equation as a matrix a x equal to b first of all the second derivative we can represent it by d square d square matrix represents the second derivative of p and k square which is the wave number we multiply it by the identity matrix which is which has the dimensions of n minus 1 and minus 1 and the first row or last row these rows for the boundary conditions the first row represent the boundary conditions on x equal to 1 and the last row represent the boundary condition on equal on x equal to minus 1 uh, to represent this boundary condition uh, the first row alpha d pi by dn this is the first derivative d so alpha multiplied by d and beta we put it here 
and all this the sum this sum equal to zero we put zero here and the second boundary condition we represent it by gamma d so we represent this by the first derivative of uh, the first derivative this is the chip chip matrix d and delta these sum together multiplied by p equal to zero so the first row and the last row these are the boundary conditions let us take an example for solving this differential equation the second order differential equation u w prime plus u prime plus 100 u equal to x and we have Dirichlet boundary condition which is uh, u minus 1 equal to u1 equal to 0 uh, first of all we take 11 nodes we can increase the number of nodes as we wish and we'll find the solution on this interval from minus 1 to 1 and we take a step as a step 0 0.01 first line of code we calculate the differentiation matrix on this number of nodes so we put chip n n is 11 which give us the nodes x and the differentiation matrix and the second we represent this these terms by a matrix as before uh, to represent this these terms as a matrix the second derivative is d square and the first derivative is d and 100 we'll put it as a diagonal matrix of ones multiplied by 100 we take a diagonal matrix of uh, a size of n plus 1 because the chip chip differentiation matrix the size of n plus 1 n plus 1 uh, this is the left terms now we apply the boundary conditions as we said before the first row this is when x x equal to 1 so when x equal to 1 we have u1 equal to 0 so a11 equal to 1 this is the factor of u 1 and the last row a n plus 1 a n plus 1 equal to 1 which is the factor of u minus 1 so and all the elements of the two rows except a11 a n plus 1 n plus 1 are equal to 0 and uh, x on these boundaries 1 and n equal to 0 we take b equal to x and the solution y equal a backslash b and this solution is calculated on the chip chip nodes to calculate the solution on our interval from minus 1 to 1 and the step is 0 0.01 we take the chip and chip 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 interpolation and we give our solution and the query points we get the solution on this interval we plot the solution and we find this is our solution thank you very much this is a simple example of how to use chip chip differentiation matrix in solving differential equation uh, in the next videos we will explain more complex differential equation and how we solve it solve them with a chip chip differentiation matrix